Okay, so Frank <laughs> is, was, is, was, I don't know what I said. Okay, redo. <laughs> Frank was 18. Um, he was awesome, he was so full of life and just like everything that came at him he took to the fullest and like limitations were not his friend. I'd be like, Frank, don't do that. Like, people are watching. You'd be like, I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, live your life. Live your life to the fullest. And I think that was definitely my favorite. I was actually on a trip in the Keys scuba diving over Thanksgiving break for a week. And I got the call a couple days after Thanksgiving from my sister that Frank died. I remember just like dropping the phone and like crying and stuff and I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh and I like couldn't you know it was just like a shock you know. It kind of like it altered my view of life I guess like life physically and, and like in a spiritual way too almost. Grief is a process. Um, grief comes in waves. You kind of have to take it in a way where you just cherish the moments that you had together and you take what they were living for and you try to transfer it into your own life and your own energies. Um, and I'm still trying to make sense of it. You know, I don't have all the answers. Nobody does and that's okay. I need to just take life as it is and like just live it to the fullest. Just go, just do things. Cause that's what Frank did. He just, he didn't care. He was just like, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it now, you know? And so I definitely took his philosophy and applied it in my life.